Yes guys, it's the boy Cam, CTB, Cam Talks Boxing, back with another video. Lee Wood v Marisha Lara, Dance with the Devil. <sighs> what a fight this past weekend. Let's talk about it. Yes guys, let's go straight into it. Um, first thing I just want to say is I um, had a little break um, over the last few weeks. Last video I did was on the Artur Potobiev yard fight. I have missed a couple of fights. Obviously, Ray Vargas being shocked by Foster, Oshiko Foster. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, big news with um, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury being announced, and that's going to be next week. It's going to be that's this week actually. So I'll be doing a prediction video on that fight, and um, yeah, I'll be talk I'll be um, I'm back now. I'll be back posting two to three times a week as I as I. As I, as I used to, and um, yeah, I, let's talk about Marissa Lara against Lee Wood this past weekend, so what a fight that was. Guys, I just want to say, the first thing I want to say is, I'm super, I've got to take my hats off to Lee Wood, I've got to take my hat off to Lee Wood, what a, what a fighter, what a throwback fighter, and he's got balls, he's got balls, like, arguably one of the biggest punches in boxing, and one of the most avoided fighters in their, in their respective weight divisions. Mauricio Lara, no one really wants that smoke. He's a dangerous fighter, he's only 24. And look, we've seen, especially look, Lee Wood saw what he did to his fellow countrymen um, in Josh Warrington. And you can argue <laughs> Mauricio Lara destroyed and knocked out Josh Warrington, who at the time in the first fight was the best featherweight in the world. So look, I got, yeah, Lee Wood has balls and look, he was fighting really well. He was up on my scorecard, he was boxing nice. Nicely, he looks sharp. He's grown in confidence as the when it hit about round five, round six, he was just getting confident and confident. And inevitably, in the end, he kind of probably got too greedy. And um, we saw the knockout, which was as you can just see now, they both they both went for they simultaneously went for left hooks, and Marisha Laura caught him, caught him clean right on the button, and um, that, that was all she wrote. Lee would did really well to get up but the contro controversy is it really controversy the, there was a bit of backlash about ben davison throwing a towel in too early should have let him should have let lee wood you know carry on there were only 12 seconds left in the round but look that's a that could that could have cost him his health he could have been gone out he could have been sparked out clean and he could have been on, on a stretcher and i always think a trainer knows their their fighter better than anyone else um, so if Ben Davidson thought Lee Wood could kind of make it through that round I think he would have allowed he would have thrown the town in especially after the Michael Conlon fight when Lee Wood was really hurt and he still managed and Ben Davidson made, allowed him to get through that fight and in the end he did actually come with the knockout against Michael Conlon but in this situation in this fight he was gone and um, I just literally saw now Carl Froch, um he was another person thinking Ben Davison should have allowed it along with Tony Bellew. But Carl Froch spoke to Lee Wood and Lee Wood admitted, look, he was gone. He was gone. His, his legs were gone. And Lee Wood said that as well. We trust his coach. So it's good that there's no bad blood there. You know, you've seen Wilder and his team kind of, there's, a bit, there's been controversy there with Deontay Wilder, you know, not being happy with their trainer's decision so it's all good there but um look Marisha Lara now he's got just over 60 percent knockout ratio I believe he's a big puncher this is 19th win I think by knockout um and um he's only 24 look who 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 would you like to see him next up against next there's the Josh Warrington third fight and whilst I'm on that that was <laughs> did you guys see what happened after that Michelle Lara, who I do really respect and like, but it shows this personal when he went out of the ring and spat on Josh Warrington apparently, and it was kind of a bit. Josh Warrington obviously weren't very happy, so that's a trilogy that could happen. Third fight could happen, but I just see Lara just dismantling Josh Warrington. I think he's out of his prime now, and I don't think he's the same. Funny enough, ever since he went to Matchroom, he's not been the same, has he? Um, and I'm a Matchroom fan. I love Matchroom. But um, yeah, there's that fight, there's the Leeward rematch, which I wouldn't mind seeing. Um, it wasn't like a dominating, it, Marisha Lara didn't dominate at all. He was behind, um, he was kind of underwhelming for his own standards, you could say. Um, so I'd love to see that rematch. But then there's other champions as well. There's, a, there's the vacant WBO, um, so Marisha Lara could perhaps 
um, unify. There's um, obviously there's Foster who just beat Ray Vargas for the W so for the WBC heavyweight title, and um, there's Alberta Lopez who obviously beat Josh Warrington for the IBF world featherweight title. So then that's fight. There's some interesting fights. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, what what matchup you like uh, for Mitchell Lara next? And for Lee Wood, he's 34, but he's got loads of big fights. He's got that rematch. He's got a Josh Warrington fight. Uh, maybe two fights down the line. He's got a Michael Condon rematch. And um, I, I do fully expect there to be a rematch um, between Marissa Laura and Lee Wood. I think that'll be great. I think Lee Wood deserves it. And um, yeah, wow. Guys, who do you, another question for you guys. Who do you think the best February in the world is right now? I think for me, it's Marissa Laura because of age. I think like his his last few opponents, he's fought, he's knocked out Josh Wellington, who was the best featherweight in the world at the time, in my opinion. He's beat him twice because that draw, the right one was in the, on the wall. Josh Wellington was about to get knocked out in that fight. I mean, he's beat Lee Wood, who is no joke. Um, but yeah, guys, what, what do you think of the card? Um, honorable mentions to Dalton Smith. I uh, really like him. I think he's a good fighter. He's just up in his... Um, levels of opponents so yeah good performance from him um chef clark who's from gravesend hats off to chef clark got a good 10 rounder in good game opponent who's quite confident um so he managed to get the go down go down the stretch and get those rounds in um but yeah it's a great fight um oh, i forgot his name now the irishman i think it's um Cully is his name good performance he's a lot of people talking about him Next big star in America in um, Ireland after Katie Taylor. So guys, yeah, decent card from Matchroom. Dance with the Devil <laughs> lived up to with I mean, to be fair, actually, some people thought the undercard was boring, but that main event was worth it. Um, but yeah, what a fighter! What a fight! What a fighter! Marisha Lara is respect to Leeward. Bulls still world class fighter who can win the rematch. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll be back with another video. Next video will be Jake Paul. Tommy Fury prediction. Let's go. Foreign thing, foreign bad bitch. I can't even pronounce her name. Talking numbers on the phone.